Hey and welcome back to my channel. Today I will show you my new base design The Glory, which is an offline tank base for 4 to 8 players with 8 unsplashable bunkers in total. It is built on the good old egg footprint, which is my personal favorite footprint in Rust. This base has 3 unsplashable offset drop down bunkers, which work 100% with the new building method. And also 3 unsplashable multi TC bunkers, which are directly connected to the spacious and fully honeycombed open core. The starter core is protected by a nice stair bunker and it has two loot rooms with everything you need for a good start. The core has at least three walls to raid from each side. But the base is not only amazing for offline protection, it also provides tons of angles so you can win every online raid. The base is very simple to build, trust me, everyone can do it. And it's easily expandable step by step and already pretty secure and expensive to raid early on in a wipe. There are also early peaks and early bunkers for the perfect wipe day. Before we get into the tour, please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel if you like my content. Also let me know in the comments which kind of base you would like to see in my next video. If you have any questions to my build or just want to stay updated, you can join my Discord, the link is in the description. And if you're also interested in gameplay content, you might like my TikToks, the link is also down below. And now we get into the tour. The base has 3 external TCs in total. Each TC has roughly 2.8k metal upkeep if the whole base is fully upgraded. Here we have a classic compound entrance bedroom for quick respawn and defense, but also super useful to get back out into fights quickly. There are compound retake peaks on the left and right. Stepping inside we are covered by turrets all around. There shouldn't be any dead angles. I built them behind chain links so they are slightly harder to destroy, but you don't have to do that obviously. We also have a nice extra peak here in case people are trying to breach through the compound, so you are just not fully exposed. And of course a nice furnace funnel wall. It's pretty simple. If you place it correctly, raiders can't jump above the furnace and are forced to destroy it. This can be very annoying if they don't break molotovs for example, since a furnace takes 5 real rockets to break. Let's say it might advise you some time in an online raid to react and defend. We also have additional outside peaks on each side. Pretty simple, not much to say about. Going inside the base we have some simple compound peaks. And we enter the base from second layer. This area is spacious and has tons of room for everything you need. And it is also fully honeycombed. The whole base is three sided, so it has the same features at all three sides. Like this bedroom here for example. And also the offset bunkers. To open them you place a roof right here, it's very simple. The square floor will break and you can drop down into your bunker. There is space for four large boxes and the shotgun trap will stop raiders right here. But if you don't want them bunkers and you would rather have simple drop down loot rooms you can just do that. You are not forced to build these bunkers if you prefer it a little more simple. But I can promise you building these bunkers is easy and everyone can do it. And yes, these bunkers are 100% reliable with the method I use on PC and console and it won't break during a wipe. Right here we have a little early peak for early raid defense or annoying your neighbors. It is especially useful before you build your compound. Down here is the drop down for your starter base. The car is protected with a stairs bunker to increase raid cost. Yes I know, it doesn't work on console, but it's just a little extra. The total raid costs are pretty high already and there are enough doors anyways. Dropping down we have the classic X starter base with two loot rooms. The car has at least three wards to raid from each side, which is great in my opinion. To open the stairs bunker, remove the twig triangle and it will break. It is not splashable, so raiders actually have to break the stairs. Replacing is also super easy. Upgrade the stairs and it will block the entrance. Now we go up into our open core. The jump ups are on all three sides for better mobility. The open core has tons of space and also three multi TC roof bunkers directly connected which is 12 more large boxes in total and splitting up your loot like this is increasing the right cost a lot. The whole open core is also honeycombed.
Jumping up here, we have retake peaks into her open core on all three sides. And this little gap might come in handy in some situations. Up here we have a little bedroom area with space for beds and boxes above, but don't worry, you can fit more beds into the shooting floor for example. From here we have insane shooting floor retake peaks, where it's most likely impossible to see you through for raiders. And also some larger retake peaks right here. Behind these embrasures we have hidden lockers, raiders probably won't expect that at all. Here we enter the shooting floor, and we have a nice drop down peak right here. And also this triangle peak down into the compound, so you don't have any blind spots inside your compound at all. But you can also easily stop raiders breaching in from here. We're using these peaks as some sort of right gap replacement and this works pretty well as addition to the triangle peak downs. Also a huge advantage here is the ability to crouch by while peeking. This square roof gives you some nice extra angles on the left and right. And this little overpowered peak right here. It is super hard, if not impossible, to see and hit you here if you use a brutalist skin. These are also our roof retake peaks in case of top down raids. We have three roof entrance jump ups in total, with additional roof retakes on each side. If you don't want three entrances here, you can build it different, but I just did it for perfect mobility since the respawns are also right below. The roof is kept pretty simple, and it has space for three vending machines to keep the business running, and additional respawns, of course, with some extra peaks. The roof is covered by four turrets in total. And now I will show you how to build a space. Let's start with the starter base, which is a regular egg. Here you need to build two half walls if you want to build a sales bunker. Once you have a furnace, you can build a wall here. Now we build the second floor. Thank <laughs> you. 
add a square to each triangle. Next we build the multi-TCs. Go out five squares and then with a triangle. Go back with triangles. Go out two squares and then with a triangle. Go back with triangles. You need to build a floor frame here on the right. Now you can decide whether to build the offset bunkers or not. You don't have to build them if they seem too complicated to you. If you don't want to build a bunker, just build a triangle, a square and walls around them. Now I'll show you how to build the offset bunker. Build a triangle and a square. Place a small box on each side of the square. If the foundation is too high, upgrade it to stone and then place the boxes. Now you need to place the free end foundation in the middle of the boxes. If the half wall has 87% stability, you did it right. The triangle floor needs to be attached to the half wall. Now you can close the bunker. If the square floor has 7% stability, you've done everything correctly. Test if the bunker opens. If you can't close the bunker, the free end foundation is probably too high or too low. Try to build the free end foundation again. Here you need to build a high foundation. If you can't build a high foundation because of the terrain, you can build it in this way instead.
From now on, all the steps are the same again. It doesn't matter if you build the bunkers or not. Check if the bunker still works if you build it. Build a low wall on top of the half wall. Next we build the open core. Here we build the multi TC bunkers. Don't build a frame here, or the bunker won't open anymore. The locker for the hidden loot needs to get into this triangle. If you don't have a locker right now, place it later. Remember to lock the locker.
Upgrade the frames to metal. You need to build these two frames, they are important. Build a frame with the lower one on top, then destroy the frame again. Next we build the roof. Now we put the compound. You need to build these frames for connection.
Now I will show you turret and windmill placement. Thank <laughs> you. 